Welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler, and we are going to look at um, the screenplay, which is yeah. something people have asked me a lot about with the Packers. Why don't they run the screenplay? When Mike Holmgren was here, man, they ran lots of screens, and I remember him working on it yep. in practice all the time. You have to devote a lot of time to it, don't Absolutely. you? Absolutely. Yeah. We well, each have a period dedicated just for screens. Yeah. Yeah, and the yeah. Packers do too, but I don't think it's as as big of a um, emphasis for them, but there's part of it, probably a reason. And what is what is the best coverage to get when you want to run a screen? What are you looking for? The, the best coverage, if you can catch them, in a, you know, in a coverage that's playing kind of a combination man. Mm -hmm. Because the one thing we try to do is you can run these guys off. You know, you can run these guys off and you can get guys to follow him. So these right. guys are kind of out of it. Right. Same you know, over here. Yeah, they're just, they're kind of out of it. So now you got to look at the scope of the middle of the field. How does it normally work? And the only way a screen will work, and it really, if it works really good, Tom, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter what the coverage is. If you get guys that has, can get an Academy Award, mm -hmm. and that's the guys in red. Mm -hmm. To these guys up front, you got to let these guys know this is true, pass, Nothing out of the ordinary. You know, I'm just stepping up to check and make sure if it's a blitz, mm -hmm. if somebody's blitzing. And what they tried to do, the Saints got a little cute. They put one of their linemen off. Yeah, you actually know? had like these two guys, all of them were kind of off the line. Of yeah, they like, were doing who's going over, who's going to blitz. Right, and it's up to you to kind of guess what's yeah. going on. But they, and I'll tell you real quick what the defense thinking is that. So if you're Aaron Rodgers, if you know the screen is going to your right, we used to hear something like two jet hair, two jet Sally. Mm -hmm. You run that in two minutes, just the defense is not really thinking about a screen. They're not thinking about it. They're just thinking about defending, and you can run a big play screen or a draw. But, you know, Rodgers did a very good job looking over here. You at, made some kind of audible. Or yeah, like just kind was of audible. messing around and yeah. think of going to 18. And when he looks to 18, they kind of drift. The safety drifts mm -hmm. over. And then the linebackers kind of drift just a little bit. Now, what was good part about it, when they get these guys actually come, you know, these guys come here or just kind of checking it out, you had what we call a drag route by Corliss. Right. And that tend that to that's, take the linebacker yeah, with that's him a, a little bit. This one. He kind of got out of, yeah, he got out of position. And then this guy kind of was like, oh, I got to get Like, what's going on? Yeah. Now you got Lacey steps up, did a good job. Now you got your two linemen coming out here. Now. Once it's set up beautiful and he gets to pass, now you got your running back behind these two guys right here. Right. Now these, again, remember I told you these guys are running off, and they're, they're doubling here anyway. Now the result is you got a guy that's running out over a 70-yard you know, seventy yard play. Mm -hmm. Now when people say, why don't you run it a lot, you got to get a defense that's very aggressive. Because when you're aggressive, you're not thinking about that. Because on the defense, Tom, real quick, if this guy doesn't block you, it's screen or draw. Mm -hmm. If this, if they just letting you go, it's screen or draw. If this guy just said, you know, oh, I made a great move on the on the rookie here. Mm -hmm. No, not really. <laughs> you got fooled, and that's when you run a screen. That slows pass rushes down. So if Aaron is getting into a lot of pass rushes in the two minute, you can see him going to a lot of screens. So let's let's assume they're in. A um, cover four, you know, okay. quarters. Straight you know, quarters. Okay. Like that. Is, is this a bad play then? Is is the screen harder? Because this guy's just going to kind of drift off, right? And yep. then he's going to come back. He's not going to be run off the field, right? Or well, is he in quarters? In quarters, he has to cover his quarters. So if there's okay. a guy still has to go. But the key is these safeties now are square, and they don't take no face. It'll still work, but it's not 70 or 65 yards. It'll right. be like 10 or 15. Right. Because now your safeties, are, they're flying up, yelling, screaming to everybody. These guys redirect, and then you get a chance to kind of, you know, converge on the ball. But when cover two, they got to go deep. With, you Especially know, they when they're really worried deep. about Jordan Nelson. Absolutely. Right. So he gets more credit. He should have put him in red, too, because he gets credit for that. Now, on this side, you get a, a guy going deep, and you got, you know, Cobb going to the outside. So... You just have to deal with these guys. And mm -hmm. you can run this during two minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, he just give them a call to go, you know, right or left, two jet, Harry or Sally. Oh, we got a screen. We got guys. You just let the four guys come. If you get a three-man rush and they drop an eight, that would kills it. Okay. There is no screen. As soon as as soon as they drop guys into zone like So that, you don't run screens on third and 21 or third is and it, 17. Is it yeah. 
possible that because they don't run Packers don't run screens as much because they probably face a lot of zone because teams they probably like to play. face a lot of zone, especially you know here lately. So I mean, why waste a play? You know, this works because you got an aggressive front. Yeah. So, and trust me, once they got hurt, the same they didn't do it again. Right. They played a traditional four down guys, and you tell the guy to follow the guards. The guards uncovered is hard. Right. If you got a guy on a guard, if he's what's his name, Lane. Yeah, Lane Ta Taylor. Lane Taylor. If he moves, you move with him. Right. And there is no screen. Okay. All right. Yep. Um, next, we're going to look at a little bit of uh, Jordy, what's going on with Jordy Nelson. Yeah, because people think he's covered, but not, don't be so fast on that. Okay, this is another play from the Saints game, second quarter, second and eight at the Green Bay 38, 449 to go. Now, mm. part of the discussion here before we get into this actual play is what teams have done to take away Jordy Nelson, or tried to. Some right. have, some ha some right. have tried to do it, and some haven't. Detroit did a really nice job they doing did a it. Good job. Um, you know, New Orleans did a pretty good job of it. Now, typically, this was this was a, a way of getting Jordy Nelson sort of away from double coverage by being yep. in the slot gives him a you know a two way to go. To, typically, if he's here, what are the corners doing and and the safety? How are they double teaming? If he's outside, like if he's this. outside here, they're going to force him outside. They're not going to let him go. They're going to line up over. Here Absolutely. So that he has to go outside. Yep. And they're not going to let him in there because statistically he catches all of his balls on the inside. Right. They're thinking if you're going to catch it outside, it's a low percentage throw and there's a longer throw so we can defend it better. Use the sideline as almost another man. And are they typically trailing him a little bit knowing that they got this guy? Absolutely. Over the top? For the back shoulder throw, for the comeback, and just in case he tries to fight to get inside. Um, and I think Jordan Nelson has to use the referees too. Because if you, if the guy's restricting you from, you're gonna get the flag. Right. So you have to really fight to get inside. Set the guy up and come underneath, but that has to be worked out chemistry with the quarterback. Now, one thing we saw was that if you if you give that attention to Jordy Nelson, other things are going to get open. We saw Absolutely. that one play where Devontae Adams came across the middle wide open. Wide open. Yep. Um, we've seen Richard Rodgers run a few wide, wide open. open. <laughs> Cobb gotten some, you know, man to man yep. things. So. There's things you have to take advantage of, but this guy is their best player. I yep. mean, he's your, other than Aaron Rodgers, he's your best player. And right. it seems to work. If they take him out, they've lost in, in three of those games. Seattle, the, the common denominator is Jordy Nelson didn't yep. contribute. So here's a play um, that we decided to look at. And it's an example of them taking out Jordy Nelson, but also showing that Jordy Nelson can beat double coverage. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And it also showed that a lot of people don't like the play calling um, of Mike McCarthy, but yeah. this showed the innovativeness. You this know, actually was that. a really nice looking. It's a you it's called a, it a cover two beater, right? It's just a cover two beater because I've been in this position. And it's a lot of stress when you have multiple guys in your zone. Now the Saints are in traditional in a cover two, what we call twenty-two, mm -hmm. two to one side and two to the side of eight to seven with man to man. But when you put him at the number three receiver on the inside, it's hard to get in there. If you got a top corner, like a Daryl Reeves, now sometimes he'll come in there. Mm -hmm. But it's so much traffic in there, you really don't like to do that. You right. try to keep the integrity of the defense. So there's nobody really lined up over no. him. This guy no. is, is really sort of covering him. So here's kind of what the routes were. So Randall Cobb runs. He runs what we call a smash route. Okay. Okay. Richard Rodgers runs like corner a corner route, right? right? So this guy, rather than follow Rodgers, actually follows him there. And this corner kind of drops back a little right. bit. Okay, what does Jordy Nelson run and what happens with Rodgers? You have Devontae Adams in red. Why, why is he in red? Never on uh, X and O's you want to be in red. You just don't. <laughs> it means something. You miss something. Or you, it can work it to your advantage. Now, he liked it this, Rodgers liked this matchup for whatever reason. Mm. I mean, Devontae Adams did have a nine targets. So Devontae Adams kind of runs off, and so he has the coverage. And Aaron, and Lacey went this way, right. Aaron gave him a stare down. Now, when I say a stare down, he looked to his side. Right. Now, what Aaron should have did is to see, okay, if they're in cover two, but right now he knows the coverage on his fifth step. Mm -hmm. And these guys are really deep, okay? You know that 
if Jordan Nelson runs what we call an eight right here, the linebacker has to carry him to a point and drops him. So when Aaron got back, set up, he looked here, he came back here, he made the throw, Tom, all the way over here to Rodgers, who was open. Good 22-yard 22, 22 game. Yep. Good, good game. But, that was That's open. what we see on TV. Right. Oh, it was a great throw. Rodgers was open. Right. He had Joey Nelson touchdown. Right. Now, his progression would have said, okay, they're in cover two. If he likes this matchup, okay, great. But in the back of my mind, I know Joey Nelson's running an eight route. And if, say, there are a man, it's a linebacker, hit him right there. That beats cover two. Right. If you keep throwing this route and it's a touchdown, coaches get out of it. They panic. It's over they'll start putting the middle safety up there. And right. then now you can start to run the ball. But if you're going to do it on straight drop back, play action, so Rodgers missed that. He missed that throw. Okay. Yeah. Now, but, and then we saw Randall Cobb coming across the middle. Yep. And he and was, he was wide, open. wide open. Right on this level. Now, you know, in these situations, we don't know what Rodgers is looking oh, at. Oh, yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, there might yeah. be a guy in his yeah, vision. Yeah, Monday morning quarterback is the best. But, but it's, it's interesting when you got an elite quarterback, you can't miss that. Right. You just can't. Your progression, I don't care what the play is called, your progression should know that if he's going to spend his time running a post on cover two, it's the cover that you want. You don't mm -hmm. want a, a post route when you got a middle safety. Right. You want it when the safeties are split. And he ran a great route, threw his hand up, Aaron missed him. So he bypassed these two to go all the way over <laughs> but, here. But the thing about it is there's three guys wide there's open. There's three guys wide and, open. And this guy, you talked about being stressed as a safety. He was yes. the one who was stressed, right? Yes, he because was. Because Rodgers is going this way. Nelson's Jordan going Nelson's this going way. way. You're thinking once he turned his hips, he's beat. And this safety was just occupied over here. I mean, it was a big play, but people see the Saints game. and they, you know, I think he still threw for 400 yards. Yeah. So, but, but if there you were connect plays, on some of these, maybe it's not a, a bigger blowout. There were plays left on the field Absolutely. for the offense. Yes. But this is also something that the Packers will probably see. Now, we don't know if the Bears will do this because the Bears don't get the same four-man pass rush. No, no. If you don't get a pass rush in this cover, too, yeah, it won't work. He'll, he'll eat that up. And he right? got a little stress from this and came around. And these guys came around. You know, the defense, the, the defense, if you got speed rushes on the outside, it gives these guys trouble. But there's no excuse for not making that play. Okay. And yeah. so the point of the whole thing here, too, is that, you know, you got to keep finding ways to get Jordy Nelson open. Yeah. And in this yeah. case, there, you can. You can. No matter if open. who's on him, give him the ball. That's how you win games. When you get it to the ball, you win. When you don't, you lose. Right. Right. That's simple. All right. Well, thanks for joining us, and we will see you after the Bears game Sunday Hopefully night. a big victory. We'll see about that. <laughs> see you next week.